how to use motion and motion calendar hey everyone and welcome we hope you're all doing great in this video i'll be talking about how to set up your motion account how to use the calendar that is provided within it and what you can actually do with the calendar that is provided uh, so basically if you didn't know motion is one of those uh, project uh, management tools or platforms that are available um but it is very, very unique because it uses AI to plan your work and it really does that quite well. And it's going to integrate very, very um, seamlessly with your uh, calendar, which makes it actually perfect. Not only that, but it's going to like understand your working hours and everything. And it's going to put all of this into perspective. And when you actually assign um, tasks or whatever it may be, they're going to work accordingly to your working hours and so on. So it's actually going to work using AI. It's going to allow you to have your time and everything, um, time management, seeing everything from afar. Uh, and yeah, you don't really have to go ahead and have all of this uh, nonsense in your calendar. It's just going to make things a lot cleaner for you. So just go ahead to usemotion.com. Try it for free. It is not a free platform. I repeat, it is not a free platform. If we go to pricing, you can see the actual plans they offer, either individual, which is 19 per month, or a team, uh, which is 12 per user per month. So with that being said, we can try it for free, test things out first, and if we don't like it, we can just leave, or if we like it, we can just go ahead and upgrade. So just click on Try Motion for free and set up your account, and I will see you in the actual dashboard. Okay, so during your signing up process, you should find this step here. Now, this is actually very, very important. And uh, also, you can do it later on. So if you want to skip right now, it's completely fine. But I highly recommend that you do this. Connect all your calendars to Motion. So basically, this is the step where you'll be able to connect your Google Calendar, your Outlook Calendar, or iCloud Calendar to your Motion this way whatever tasks that you add in motion whatever projects whatever time like due dates anything that you want to add in motion are actually going to appear uh in your calendars and everything is just going to be integrated with one another another which is going to just help you uh manage more stuff easily with your phone basically so uh, i'm just going to skip connecting a calendar it's not going to really make a difference with this video because you know you would want to just check your calendar and everything that is going to be within motion is going to be within your uh, normal calendars. And this is pretty much what's going to happen. Events, tasks, and so on. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip for now. And now you will need to set your weekly work hours. Basically, you will need to set up the days that you want to work in, uh, the days that you think uh, you will be available for work, and leave off the times and dates that you don't want to work in now this is also very important because like i said motion does use ai to help see whether or not a task should be in a specific date or time or not if it's within your working hours then it's going to move it there if it's not then it's just not going to be in there it's very simple it's very straightforward it's just going to quite help you a lot so yeah, go ahead, set, set those up and you can just go ahead and click on continue. And also you can set up uh, a different uh, time uh, space. Basically, if, if you have a break between like if you have two shifts in one day, you can also add that in here if you want to. And you can copy them to the rest of the days as well. Once this is done, just click on continue. I'm just going to stick with default uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and continue. Uh, here is going to be some of the reoccurring tasks that we want to set up, like lunch, check emails, exercise, and, you know, we will be able to also create them later on. So for the time being, let's just uh, have check emails and uh, click on create reoccurring tasks. Now, reoccurring tasks are not like normal tasks. They are just going to actually be uh, in repeats. You'll always see them. They're going to be daily or weekly. It really depends on how you want to set it up later on. So those are going to be very important uh, with our journey in motion. I'm actually going to, no, no, let me just create this one. So I'm just going to click on create recurring tasks. Okay, so this next step in setting things up uh, is going to be adding some tasks. So add at least five tasks to get to the most out of uh, motion. 
Uh, the more tasks uh, you add, the better our AI can help uh, you prioritize. Like I said, it's actually going to set things up for us. So let's just say create a YouTube channel. And you can set up your due date. Uh, let's just set it uh, for two days from now. This is going to be how long the uh, the task is going to take, basically. Like how how many uh, how many minutes is actually going to take you to finish uh, this task? Let me just put one hour for for example, and click on add. And let's just create another one. Let's just do uh, script writing. I'm just going to have it. 15 and let's just do 30 minutes create one more let's just do uh, maybe brainstorming or whatever it may be so just go ahead create your tasks and if you don't want to do that right now you can also skip uh, you will need to create at least one of them and then just go ahead and skip and we can create them from the actual calendar itself so again let me just do it 15 minutes click on add and boom click on next and let's just move on so more stuff about yourself and your company, feel free to answer them uh, correctly and click on continue. And I'm just going to continue as individual, but if you have a team, you would want to switch to team. This is self-explanatory, I'm just going for the dark mode and not now. And as you can see, we are already greeted with the calendar view of motion. Now you have also the projects view where you'll be able to create projects and create tasks within the actual projects and they're also going to show up within the calendar let me just go ahead and create one more uh, project for for the sake of it so youtube uh, channel i just want to create a few tasks and show you how it's going to look like in the calendar so uh, project name is going to be um, videos or whatever it may be next and i just want to do task one task two youtube task three youtube and click on next and we should find them over here and with the priority and everything that we actually need but we want we want to go ahead and add a deadline to them so we can actually view them so let me just go ahead and make them 13th all of them or let me just do like that um and yeah, let's just go back to calendar now and talk about what we have here. So in the calendar view, basically we have the days on the left so we can actually view them uh, quite easily. As you can see, we can just filter between them. Uh, we have the time from 12 a.m. to you can just go down to 11 p.m. Just scroll down and you'll find everything. So if you just go to 12, you can see uh, check emails. We have task one, two and three. And 11, I believe I did change this one, if I'm not mistaken. So it should show up as, oh, the start date should be uh, 13th, for example. And let's just move it. It's going to move automatically to 13th. If it just loads in, it should just move to 13th. Okay, so until then, you can see that now it's not going to actually show because auto schedule is on. And it's just not going to work because I believe 13th is Saturday. This is why it's not working. So we can just move it back a little bit. Um, let's just go for uh, 14th, 15th. Okay, so let's just move it to 15th. And now it's actually going to show up. Now you can see why AI is actually going to help you. You can see the auto uh, auto schedule is going to move it aside if it is in a weekend. This is why it's going to really help you out. And by the way, you can feel free to just turn it off and it's actually just going to show up for us. So if we just go back to, uh, I believe it was 12 or 13, it's actually going to show up, if I'm not mistaken, uh, because we turned off auto schedule. Let me just find it. Okay, so no, basically without auto schedule, it's not going to show up, but with auto schedule, it's going to move to July 15th automatically. So we can just view it from um, the 15th. We can see it over here. And basically this is how to view things uh, properly. And you can have also display options where you can see when the start of the week is and so much more. You can just filter between them. And also on the right side here, 
uh, they're going to just click you're going to click on a date and there's going to show you the list of all the um tasks that are assigned to that specific date so for example if we click on 12 it's going to show us the 12 basically uh and then you know what's next of it there if we click on 13 it's not going to show it's not going to show us 13 because there is nothing there so it's going to show us the um, more recent ones as you can see and we can just view all of them from here and on the top here you can see the most recent one that you actually need to work on and you can just go ahead and uh, edit task or start task for example the the brainstorming one is the most um, closest one so we can just go ahead and uh, work on it tackle it do whatever we want with it uh, and we can just go ahead and click on start task now and we can set up how how long it should actually take us approximately so let's just do 30 30 minutes click on start and it's actually just going to go ahead and count down for us um so basically this is how to do it and also we can just go ahead and create more tasks either by projects or from the actual calendar itself so for example let's just go on um let's go 15th and let's just say uh, i want to work on something in uh during 1 p.m to 2 p.m just drag and drop and you'll be able to create it now you can create either an event or a task uh, if you are going to add an event, you will re be required to add your calendar. Uh, and you can do so from settings. Or we can just go ahead and create a task. So water the plants. Click on create. And it's going to obviously be created for us. If we click on it, we can set up the priority, the status of the actual thing, the duration uh, of the task. Let's say it's not it's even less than that. Uh, so... We can just do 15 minutes for the time being if you want to add chunks. Start date is going to be the same date as right now. Deadline is going to be 15th. Um, and more stuff here as well, like leaving a comment, adding a custom field, or using labels as well. You can all do all of this from this uh, basically place. And you have it over here as you can see. It's not complete. If I just do the status as complete is marked as complete for some reason so i'm just going to leave it as to do the duration is zero let's just click on save task and it should be good to go and basically you can just go ahead uh you have your calendar now you can see the task on the right side you can check them as complete if they are done they're going to disappear uh and you can just go ahead and you know finish the tasks that you want you can create uh reoccurring tasks if that's what you want as well which are going to be like the this one right here, which is check email. Uh, and you can see that this basically on repeat every single day, except for weekends. Uh, and you can see that it is from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And you can obviously change uh, all of this as well. So basically, it's going to be very easy to do and handle uh, because you have all of this workspace to work on. You can just go ahead and add your tasks. You can add them from projects. And it's also going to move over to your uh, calendar as well and you can always just see them from this project view if you want like kanban if you want uh, or you prefer to view it in the gantt view it's completely up to you and how you want to actually see it uh, and this is basically it with motion it's very easy and simple to do if you assign a specific task in your non-working times and have auto schedule on is just going to move it to the next date which is not going to be a break for you which is going to be a actual working date uh and yeah this is how it's going to work we can just go ahead and start tasks mark them as complete everything is going, going to be easy and smooth so hopefully this video was helpful to you and now you know exactly how to manage working on your motion calendar it's very easy uh and hopefully that you actually agree with me here and see it as um easy as i do and with that being said thanks for watching